Hey there, this is Kilo Romeo 7 Julia Alpha Sierra. I'm going to share a little bit about a recent soda trip I took with my dad, Keith, who's also an active soda activator. But before I do that, I wanted to thank Dale, Kilo Zero Hotel Yuma Delta, for uh, sharing my segment. If you've never taken a ham radio road trip, it's something I highly recommend trying at least once. My dad, Keith, and I are active in the Summits on the Air community for the Arizona W7A region. And we'd had a chance to knock a few places out, such as uh, the Winding Stair Mountains in Oklahoma, that's W5O, and uh, Rich Mountain in W5A, Arkansas. So then when we decided to take a road trip through the southwestern part of the country, we weren't sure exactly what to expect. Now, obviously, if you've participated in a Summits on the Air activation, you'll know that to a certain extent, you need to plan well. And if you don't plan out the route, the schedule, and the packing, then things might not always go the way you planned. So we planned our route and designated six spots that we were interested in checking out within reasonable distance of the freeway on our way east. And over the course of the trip, some of them worked, some of them didn't. Still had an amazing trip, had a lot of fun. But I uh, came to realize that often unexpected obstacles will come in the way. In the end, the peaks we visited, for those of you interested, were the Victoria Mountains, the Tortugas Mountains, as well as uh, Sierra de Cristo Rey, all in New Mexico, and in Texas, South Franklin Mountain, as well as the Davis Mountain 6411, which you can see us activating in this uh, video clip here. Now, as we entered Houston, we hit some pretty heavy rain Unfortunately, faced a little bit of bad weather with some ice over in El Paso. Now, here we are ascending Sierra de Cristo Rey, which is a Whiskey 5 November Stroke Papa 010. And this peak stood out from quite a few of the other peaks I've activated. I gotta say, I need to give a shout out to the chasers who encouraged their friends to get on the air, and uh, gave me a spot. The thing about radio is some people question, well, why the heck would you want to talk to someone that you'll never meet in real life? And that's almost exactly why. If it weren't for radio, most of these guys I most likely would have never interacted with or met in real life. So it put me out of my normal zone and introduced me to people in the community that have similar interests. Uh, This peak really opened my eyes, had a beautiful view of the border wall with uh, Mexico and Cuidad Juarez on the south, and then El Paso and the border of New Mexico on the north. Quite a few people uh, advised caution while hiking this route with uh, warnings of robbery and, you know, potential danger on this route as it's so close to the border, but I think that this was one of the most beautiful peaks I've activated because I'm able to see the city where the people I'm talking to. In fact, uh, one of the gentlemen happened to be a couple miles away from where I was. And I think this peak really made our trip. And I'm just amazed and grateful that I could have gotten the points. And it's not about the points. I got out there and it was freezing. But this peak was amazing. And it's definitely an experience I'll never forget.